Hello, welcome to The Ego. First, I would like to introduce ourselves and our responsibilities for the team. My name is Hong Ziluo. I am the storyboard director and the designer for The Ego. And here with me are my team members of the computer animation team. I would like to introduce Nathan Poli, the editor, Jacob Fair, the graphics designer, and Bryce Poli, the researcher. Over the, the course of the presentation, we are intended to cover the subjects such as patriotic theme and the design process of the ego. So why the ego, you will ask? The theme of this attraction in our, our local amusement park is patriotism. Over the last few years, on July 4th, we have experienced multiple new and younger visitors turning down due to the fact that the amusement park is lacking a simple roller coaster. So my team and I grouped up, uh, decided to develop a uh, bullet, inver uh, bullet inverted roller coaster rather than a simple roller coaster to appeal to a patriotic theme of the attraction. The reason behind this is so that we can allow riders to freely move their arms and feet uh, legs while in the air, thus giving the riders to feel like an eagle. With a large amount of speed and uh, unique patterns, it allows the rider to experience what it feels like to be to uh, to fly like an eagle uh, over such a great height with a sense of freedom. Having the ability to navigate uh, similar to an eagle is one of our goals to achieve the theme of this new attraction. The theme patriotism is further represented throughout the ride. I plan to implement, implement multiple assets such as the Statue of Liberty, Mount Rushmore, the White House, and, America, and uh, some American flags along the track. Throughout the ride, we continue to give off a sense of pride with varieties of assets that represent the primary theme of the ego. For the development and design process, our first step was to identify the problem. So what we needed to do was to develop a new attraction to increase vid visitors to the amusement park. We started to collect information about different amusement parks and rides and roller coasters, and we analyzed local amusement parks uh, and their themes. Then we started to brainstorm. We started to sketch general designs of our roller coaster, and we uh, looked into different designs and different themes for our roller coaster. Once we decided on a theme and a design, we started to model it in Blender to actually create our roller coaster and the animation. The 3D modeling software called Blender was used for this project because it is free and open sourced. Blender allows users to 3D model and texture. After we rendered each individual frame of our animation, we used Adobe Premiere Pro to stitch the frames together to create a fluid video. We also used Premiere for text animations. Adobe Audition was used for sound design for the screams and the screeching of the roller coaster cart. Some of the techniques we used was polygonal, polygonal modeling to model the track. This meant that we used primitive shapes such as cylinders for the rails and rectangular prisms for the connectors. We only had to model one part of the track thanks to the array modifier. The array modifier allowed us to duplicate the track so that we didn't have to keep modeling the track over and over again. The mirror modifier, modifier was used for the assets in the scene such as the robot and the metal man. This allowed the assets to be symmetrical. We used keyframing animation to move the camera through the track. This gave the illusion of a personal point of view. We used Blender's built-in artificial sunlight to light the scene. The, ado, the audio comes from our individual screams and sound design. We textured this track with a PVC material and the support beams were textured with wood. We plotted down different trees everywhere. We manipulated the levels of the audio in Premiere and we added contrast to the render. We also used keyframe animation and we rendered the animation with the audio in Premiere Pro.